Det er greit å ha den ene hjemme, så den andre ble dårlig. So we are here at track, I didn't speak to you after we arrived, but I flew some drone yesterday. Had some fun doing that. In the previous video that is, but uh, yeah. And I'm going to be a speaker all of a sudden. They asked me yesterday if I wanted to speak today because it's kind of like a race today. So that's my task. I'm really nervous for it. I don't like speaking into like a microphone uh, when you hear yourself like two seconds delayed. So we will see how it goes. And also it's a little bit uh, difficult commentating maybe small kids, but we will try our best. It will be in Norwegian, so you don't understand anyway anything, so yeah, let's uh, do that today. Da er grønn flagg oppe, og 15 Heavy day to say at least, I'm not used to being around kids all day and having to speak in the microphone, being the speaker and stuff, an answer or what do you call it. I'm not used to that stuff, so really exhausting day. But uh, yeah, it's really nice to be here. So anyway, we are heading back home now. It's been a good weekend and uh, excited to head home and relax tonight. I'm really sorry for bad vlogging this weekend, but it's a little bit difficult to do both vlogging and like working and all that stuff so it was a little bit difficult but anyway hope uh, some video turned out okay I'm so sorry guys but today has been a little bit of a difficult day to vlog uh, and uh, still is because now I got to edit yesterday's video I haven't done any editing and it's 6 p.m. so I need to really hurry up now. I like to try to publish the vlog before 8, but I don't know if it's possible today, but hopefully it is. And then for today, since I don't have any content, I'm uh, thinking of doing some tips for you guys. So stay tuned. But now I gotta edit, so... So I guess today's object or tips for you guys and also the main story of today is how to get better GoPro footage on your motocross bike so some tips and tricks how to get the best looking videos with this little thing the GoPro Hero 7, Hero 5, Hero 6 uh, the GoPro session it doesn't matter really uh, I will show you some tips right now so let me get one of these helmets one of my iron helmet right here so mainly people put their GoPro on the top but it's like a secret that actually Jeff Walker you know a famous youtuber in the states right now he said that the more down you move your camera the more action you get and the more better videos for your motocross bike you get and I also kind of think that because when you have it on the top of the helmet it's a little bit difficult to get the feeling of the track and stuff and how much you move your body and then you see a lot of guys try this putting it under the visor or what is this I don't know putting it under there that's also an option the best option is one of these it's the Dango Design grip mount you just Put it here in the front of the helmet and you are good to go. The more lower on the helmet the mount is, the better. It's also possible to have the chest mount, but then every movement when you sit and when you stand, your angle is a little bit different. But with the helmet, even if you sit or you're standing, your angle will always look towards the next corner. So that's why it's the best to mount it on the helmet. And yeah, to mount it here because you get more action and you see a lot more of the bars. So that's the like main tip is to get one of these, the Dango Design Gripper Mount. 
On the aero helmet, it's a little bit sharp in the front. I think it's more designed for a bell helmet or fly or something. But uh, I just secure it with a, with a stripe once I have it uh, in place where I want it. I usually put the camera as much back as possible because I like to have a lot of sky in my videos. So that's why I do that. I don't want the camera to be facing down. And then we have the settings for the GoPro. So my recommended settings is overall for all the GoPros to always use Super View. The resolution and stuff, it doesn't matter too much, but my main, main, main tip is to use Super View because it dramatically changed the vision and the feeling of the whole video when you use Super View. On the Hero 7 you can use 2.7K, 60, and then put Super View. And the good thing about the Hero 7 is that uh, you have hyper smooth, the stabilization thing, so you get really smooth footage. But for your Hero 5, uh, Hero 6 and the Hero 5 session, you can use a software called Real Steady Go. It's uh, $99 or something. And then it smoothens out your footage a lot. And then you can use whatever setting that have Super U. So it's no restrictions there. But I recommend Super U for sure. And stabilization, you can use Real Steady or the built in Hyper Smooth for the GoPro Hero 7. And then for the more advanced stuff, people often use ProTune. But really for motocross, you want uh, everything to be auto. I think that's the best. I put sharpness. I put uh, sharpness on uh, medium. And then the only thing I really like to change that is really necessary to change in ProTune is uh, for the mix. Mix here to be wind instead of auto because auto, it sounds really bad because when you come into a turn, the audio completely changes. It's better to always have it on wind. So use Pro Tune and then everything auto, sharpness on medium, and then mix on wind. So that's my tips for today. I think that's it for today actually. Some GoPro tips for uh, you motocross riders. A lot of you probably pick one GoPro up and then get like frustrated over the results. So I hope these tips work out a little bit for you helps you a little bit and that uh, your experience with the action cam is better than before. So try this out and then uh, yeah, looking forward to hear from you down below in the comments. Thanks for watching, until next time remember to keep full gas. Bye!